so I wanted to show you something. Solar was talking about classes, and he was charging a thousand dollars, and he promised everyone he was going to break it down the classes so they would be more affordable. So ten hours ago, he uh put the prices down. This is a list. Holla at your boy. <laughs> He's um doing classes. You see the prices here, $111, $222, and let me see what else. Yeah, so he put it up two times. This post is a little bit bigger so you can see it. Um, so yeah, these are the classes. He broke it down so y'all can afford it. People want me to give them a direct answer. Do I believe that Natiri and Solar broke up? Let me just say this to you. Okay, we did all witness yesterday on the 4 p.m. live that he bamboozled her. He had said something that she was surprised that he was going to say on live. And towards the end of the live, he ended it. because. And I need to keep my standards and I need to keep certain things for the women I let in my life, for the people I let in my life. Mm -hmm. And everybody else needs to do the same thing for themselves, too. I ain't break up with nobody. I ain't, no, it's not that type of time, guys. We're we're being mature adults. Don't ever stay in a situation that you have to completely compromise and let go of your heart feeling to be in. I I feel I I feel this. I believe this. You feel that. You believe that. You you can find harmony and resonance with people in your life. But when you get intimate and you create these close bonds, there has to be, like you said, that Venus energy, that Libra energy, those contracts, those deals, those boundaries. And if your boundaries don't line up, it's not going to work. How about when you cross them? Okay. You still no, no, I get it. I just have different boundaries in you. And I shouldn't have agreed to your boundaries because it makes me have to go outside of who I am. And I should have, and it's my fault, bro. It's my, I should have said that from the start. I never yeah. kicked you out. I, I never removed you. Guys, hold on. Y'all don't y'all don't need this. Y'all don't need this. I love y'all, man. It's, we about to heal. We're healing. As she spoke her piece, probably she was shocked what was, you know, gonna come out of his mouth. But he admitted that he should have been basically more transparent about what he expected from the relationship, whether it was a friendship, boyfriend and girlfriend them getting married, whatever the situation um, should have been, he should have been up front from the gate, understanding her expectations and his too. But like always, people do things for the moment to get instant gratification and to benefit off of what they can until they get up on their feet like Solar did. If they're okay, I don't know if there's something I have to do. Look, if I take a step back, I let Lotus do what she want to do. I let Zoka do what she want to do. And I let Eligio do what he want to do. I'm free. It just seems like it's a... So to be honest with you, all I can say to you is it looks like a stunt. It looks like... I'm not saying on both of their parts, but it looks like a stunt. It looks like uh, that Solar is trying to be another nature boy. We've never heard Solar. We know he has a big mouth. You know, he has this little sarcasm with him. He, I think that even though he was scared of nature boy, we did see a little sarcasm come out of Solar. And, you know, he's a chatty patty talk baby talk a lot but we now see that he wants to certainly be in the limelight um everything's for money you know now he wants to charge people money for his teachings all of this off the wall mess guys i don't know if you've seen it how i'm seeing it i'm free now you guys can get all of my energy and all of my attention now i can be effective and efficient Guys. You know, he's doing it. Um, I think that it's a stunt. I think that Solar is trying to be another nature boy. And he's if if he if he can do it with I think preferably if he could do it with uh Zoka, 
the Velvet and Nature Boy saga, he would prefer to do that with. But if, you know, Zoka's not on the program, I believe that he's going to try to pull this stunt, but do it where he's not going to get himself in any legal troubles and be locked up. I believe he'll do it with Nateri because people can relate more so if they're trying to do this stunt of the Nature Boy and, and Velvet thing. They will resonate with it better if it's somebody that we already know that was part of Carbonation. But then again, if it was a new chick that came along playing Chiefess and he's the chief, you know, that would be something interesting to watch too. But yeah, um, Solo got game with him. I, I'm not saying this is, is, I'm not saying the game is tight. I'm not trying to say it's right. But he got game with them. And if you don't pay attention, he will try to fast talk you and be manipulative because he was around a manipulative person, which is Nature Boy, a narcissist. So do I believe that they broke up? In my opinion, I believe that, yes, they did break up. That's my opinion. I believe that Solar is learning from his mistakes, stop leading people on because now I got this woman that I'm laying with. I'm a man. Yes. You know, I'll still, you know, get me some here and there, you know, but I'm not attracted to her. There's nothing I want to build with her going forward unless I start a tribe like Nature Boy did and she's part of it, but she definitely won't be cheap to um, she would probably be getting the downgrade. She'd be getting demoted if Zoka was to ever come over there. Or if somebody caught his eye um, that could take Nateri's place, she definitely would not be chiefess. And I believe that they're in a living situation right now from what I'm hearing where he's being a man to some degree because he could have, and he did mention it, he could have put her out. If, you know, if they did break up, you know, they didn't have to, to me, say break up. Solar didn't have to confirm that he broke up or they broke up because he didn't answer the question either. But when he said, well, I didn't kick you out, that right there would be like, well, if you're in a relationship, you wouldn't kick that person out that you're in a relationship with, right? So we wouldn't expect that and she wouldn't either. So when he said that, that led me to believe that there is some sort of turmoil going on with them, between them. And Solar is, I guess, for now anyways, being a better person. I guess it's obviously in his name uh, what he's paying rent for. And he has an option to put her out and he hasn't. So they're, they're living underneath the same roof, but the romance has fizzled out. And I'm not surprised that the romance has fizzled out because, to be honest with you, look at what stock he comes from. He has one mind, one self. Nature Boy's one mind, one self. We all know Nature Boy's a slime ball. You know what I'm saying? And they stayed around long enough to, to, to let us know that birds of a feather flock together. Uh, you couldn't have been that scared to stay there all that long and get mistreated. And, 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 and help towards the mistreatment of people that came over after you. So you just, you're just as bad as Nature Boy. So, you know, I don't feel bad for Natiri. Natiri put herself in this situation, and she continuously, you know, even after she left Carbonation, was in and out of different relationships in the conscious community with, with dudes that uh, names were ringing bells in the conscious community. I'm starting to see that with a lot of low self-esteem women. Um, since I've been doing this uh, conscious commentary in the fake woke community, there are a lot of women that, you know, they want to live off the land, live a spiritual lifestyle, live holistically, and there's nothing about them spiritual. Holistic, not at all. They don't even use protection. Half of them are getting on. Uh, you know, social media platform, sock my how he burnt me, this and that and other. So you got to pay a lot of that attention. Um, and you got to take it for what it is and know that these people come from a real dark place and they're trying to bamboozle you because they've been bamboozled. They've been hurt. They've been disappointed. And they're using this conscious community, which I do believe that there are people that 
belong there, are there, and they are conscious and woke. But these people that are gravitating, calling themselves in this conscious community, there's nothing about them conscious. If anything, you need to be aware of these sick people. Some of them that do witchcraft and voodoo and all these other hexes on people, you know, that hide in the bushes and, you know, cause commotion on different platforms, you know, and expose and all this other foolishness. You got to really pay attention to what's going on out here in this community because that is why I feel as though Kite and his wife um uh you know have left the community because of the same uh reasonings because they don't want to get a bad rap because the conscious community right now is not looking good. It's not a good look for them because of these riff raps that just over the last couple of years just involve themselves in this type of lifestyle but they're not living what they're preaching 